This is Business Today on Channel I. On this program, we talk about business and entrepreneurship in Sri Lanka. Keep tuning in to today's episode as well whilst we discuss business today. On today's episode, we have with us the general manager of Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel, Colombo. And to know more about who this individual is, let's have a look at the character profile. Darsh Kalige is a veteran hotelier with more than two decades of experience in the hospitality sector, both in Sri Lanka and overseas. Darsh takes over the reins of Cinnamon Lakeside Colombo with a comprehensive plan of enhancing the iconic lakefront property to a sought-after resort in the city. After completing his primary and secondary education at DSN Anaika College, Colombo, Darsh went on to study hotel management and catering technology. After spending several years at a five-star hospitality brands in Colombo, Darsh received his first overseas assignment as food and beverage operations manager at the Traders Hotel in Dubai in 2003. Moving within the Gulf region, his next assignment was at Shangri-La Abu Dhabi as a food and beverage service manager. Following a short stint in the United States, Darsh moved back to Dubai to take on a pre-opening role at the address. Darsh's extensive experience in pre-opening operations comes from his years as Director of Food and Beverage, Food and Beverage Operations and Culinary and Stewarding Operation at Yas Waterworld Abu Dhabi. Complementing his passion for motor racing, Darsh was then appointed the Pre-opening Director of Food and Beverage, Food and Beverage Operations and Culinary and Stewarding Operation at Ferrari World Abu Dhabi where he was responsible for developing and implementing the strategy for Ferrari World, overseeing operations, developing food and beverage concepts, and managing and motivating large teams to achieve excellence. For his contributions, Darj was awarded the Senior Leadership Award for three consecutive years. The direction and coordination as well as its growth and profitability of Miraz holding Dubai's leisure and entertainment division, particularly family entertainment centers such as Hub Zero, Laguna Water Park, Roxy Cinemas, The Green Planet, Metal Playtown and Splashpad was Darsh's final assignment overseas. Wanting to give back to his home country and look into revamping the tourism and hospitality sector in Sri Lanka, Darsh returned in 2022 to take on the role of hotel manager at Cinnamon Grand Colombo. At a time when brain drain was creating a huge impact for the sector locally, Darsh made a firm decision to remain in the island and share his years of experience to uplift the industry. Mr. Darsh Kalage, good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me. All right, now let's start off the discussion with an introduction about Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel Colombo. Cinnamon Hotel Lakeside is a city hotel uh, in a resort. Mm -hmm. So it's a two in one. It's a, it's a business hotel and it's a resort hotel as well. So that makes us very unique. And the guests have the both option if you come for a conference or meeting, but you still have that experience of a resort. So that makes the hotel is very unique in the city. Right. And tell us about your journey to becoming the general manager of this hotel from when you left school to uh, becoming the actual general manager? It's a very long journey. <laughs> I think I need a lot of time to explain that, but I'll come in a summary. Uh, it takes almost 27 years for me to get there, uh, which each and every step of this business and start my career here as a stewarding, uh, go through the stewarding department, then the culinary kitchen department, uh, then the front office, then the FMB, then the maintenance, then the sales and marketing, uh, so and so forth. That takes long journey, but I hold different positions in a different business unit to gain experience, and uh, that makes me to come and reach this stage. Right, and uh, you ventured other opportunities outside of Sri Lanka as well, and you came back here. Tell us yes. about some of the I was highlights. away from Sri Lanka for almost 27 to 30 years. Uh, first thing is uh, those days when we start our career, there was a limited opportunities, but then uh, we have. A I have, I have been looking for opportunities in overseas. So my career start from Sri Lanka to then to Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi to Dubai. Then I went to Caribbean, uh, Bahamas, Jamaica, then back in US, uh, then come back to Europe, Italy. I spent some time, uh, then again back to Dubai, then uh, work in a couple of projects in Asia and uh, then back to Canada. So I've been traveling most of the time and gaining experience and 12 different companies. Uh, different roles so that gives me the experience and gain the knowledge from uh, multinational uh, management companies and multinational uh, multi-language uh, multinational skills I can learn so that makes me to come uh, get into this stage 
Right. And how does the hospitality industry in Sri Lanka compare to that of other regions? I think we had a great uh, hospitality when we talk about where I start my career before that. And we still have the great hospitality. But only thing is uh, looking at uh, the globally, we uh, the skill set of the people are not no longer there what we used to have. One reason for that people are moving and uh, different countries, different part of the business are hiring the skill set and pay the top dollar. So our knowledge is uh, not here. So the youngsters are into this business and encouraging to come for hospitality, but we need to look at the business, how we run the business in a new way. That has to add it to Sri Lankan hospitality. Right. Now, when it comes to dealing with uh, customers and guests overseas versus in Sri Lanka, was there a transition that you had to make when you came here? Uh, definitely. I was here 10 months ago and uh, I studied the market uh, as well as I studied the culture and the customer demand. It's a uh, unique country to country, uh, hotel to hotel and city to city. So I did some uh, case studies and spent some good 10 months to understand the, what markets need because we operate in a different business and especially with the critical situation right now uh, within the Sri Lanka. So we need to understand what the customer behavior and the uh, spending power. So that was uh, my project actually 10 months. Uh, I spent good 10 months to understand that. Right. And uh, let's speak a bit about uh, the strategy you implemented at Ferrari World in Dubai. Uh, Ferrari World is the first theme park which the Abu Dhabi government uh, wants to implement and the uh, collaboration with the Ferrari ca car company. So I was a part of the pre-opening team uh, and looking after FMB operation uh, entirely, uh, the Ferrari project and upcoming projects. So that was an amazing journey to involve with the Ferrari inspired theme park and first in Middle East and with the government of uh, Abu Dhabi. So I have gone through a lot of trainings and spent a lot of time in Italy in the head office, understand what the brands need to deliver uh, within their guidelines. So that was an amazing journey to understand how the theme parks works, how the hospitality works, uh, how the designing part comes to when it comes to concept designing. So that's what I spent good five years with that and gain a lot of experience with that. Uh, that's an amazing experience. Right now, after doing all of these things in other countries, what really made you come back to Sri Lanka? Uh, I'm back home. The one reason is I, I was away for 30 years. I want to come back and spend time with my parents. The second thing is giving back the knowledge. Uh, we have a work through a uh, different part of the world, gain experience. So I would like to give back to society, give back to the country what we earn and develop the young uh, talented people in Sri Lanka. Right. And when it comes to upcoming individuals entering the hospitality industry, would you say it's beneficial to maybe follow in your footsteps and go abroad, gain some experience and then come to Sri Lanka or just stay here? Yes, indeed. I think uh, that's something uh, we, we all have to see and what's happening in the rest of the world. And the youngsters, uh, there's so many youngsters are coming to water schools and uh, looking at the opportunities, right? Uh, hospitality industry is the one gateway to go for any, any, anywhere you want to go, Australia, Canada, New Zealand. Ireland or England, much more opportunities around the world. That's the fastest gate, gateway to go out. So one thing is youngsters have to understand, get their basic rights before they go. That will help them. Right? When we were trainees in, in back in Sri Lanka, we get a proper uh, solid basic. Right? So that basic helps us to develop our skill set. So my advice is first get the basic rights. Yes, indeed, they have to go out and gain the experience. They only see what's happening in the rest of the world. So that will help them to develop and that will help country to get more knowledge come back in uh, with the time. Right. And uh, I'm guessing the educational knowledge is not enough. You need the practical knowledge as well, right? I agreed 100 percent because education knowledge only give you the guidelines, but uh, on the job training and running day to day business and give you a perfect uh, operational experience. So every country is different operating, every customer is different, every, every person needs are different when it comes to hospitality. Right. So we should be learning how to cater, right? So in hospitality, we cannot cater in a one standard. Yes, we have a basic standard to follow through, but individual person to person is different. Mm -hmm. So we, in, we have to look into the personal choices and preference when it comes to the business. Right. And what are the challenges one would face as a hotelier? Uh, challenges is always, you know, the time. You have to spend a lot of time and uh, you have to l give up a lot of uh, time for your family and spend a lot of time and the challenges the customers are demanding, right? What they pay for that they demand. So we should be able to cater for that and uh, 
some aggressive customers will be there, some are demanding customers will be there, some are really generous people are there. So you should be able to maintain your body language and understand their need. Once you have that calm and quietness and understanding of the business, everything is much easier right. to do that. And well, if we have someone uh, listening out there, watching out there who wants to enter this industry, what are some of the qualities and characteristics you would say a hospitality sector expects from a person? I think the first thing is your attitude. I think the skill set you can gain from hotel school or on the job, but if you don't have a correct attitude, choose your attitude. Right? Hospitality is all about attitude, understanding the business. So that's the first character. And the other one, other option is what you have to look at. You have to be very open minded and listen. And what did the customer need? Sometimes we try to justify our rules and regulations, but sometimes you have to listen and understand what they need. That will help you to go a long way. And don't be in a hurry. Take your time, learn the skill well, and don't go behind the money. Money will always come. It's a very huge business. We, when we look at the hospitality, people think it's just uh, hotels, rooms, and FMB. No, it's a more wider range of business hospitality. Now I talk about massive catering, airline catering, conference, uh, setting up, opening hotels and restaurants, concept designs, right? So those are the platforms we can. And the dietary requirement at the moment, everybody's into dietary. So good chefs, good FMB directors, uh, if you have a correct knowledge, we can designing part of that. That goes for a long way. And the biggest catering, what you're talking about, right? People are into wedding, the functions, you know, unique events. So a lot of opportunities are there. So we just had to choose not one path. There's a multiple path for this business. So youngsters have to open up their mind and not stuck into one to look at all the opportunities and see where your skill sets are. Uh, getting through right and what does the hospitality industry need right now to develop further at the moment we need uh, skill sets uh, we need trainings uh, we need to get our standards up in Sri Lanka and train young people and uh, trade develop the training into a different style not the authentic way and make them understand because youngsters are very knowledgeable uh, the knowledge is right one button away from the phone so they have opportunities to look and feel and see what's happening in the rest of the world, but uh, educating them in a different way and put them in operation and giving them a correct basics, that's what I'm thinking what we need to do at the moment. Right. Now, previously you mentioned that uh, time is something which uh, is required a lot when it comes to this industry. How do you maintain a work-life balance as a general? Uh, it's a very challenging, uh, but as long as you plan your day, month, week, month, you can do that because it's, 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 just, it's all about planning. Hospitality is planning, right? Some this is what uh, we all need once you design your day how it's going to work your meetings your one-to-one -one meetings with the guests your time spending with the guests and your colleagues and you can have some time in between uh, afternoon and then you have to come back but when you're planning properly you can take your holidays that's no problem at all and but yes indeed uh, long hours because we are into uh, hospitality we are into looking out of people's uh, satisfaction so we have to spend if you don't spend enough time you don't know what your customers need you don't know what your team needs mm -hmm. so re you really need to spend some time and understand the business right now a question that a lot of people are wondering is for example if you try to go out for dinner or for a lunch with your friends 90 percent of the time the hotels are fully booked what do you think is the reason for this i, I think uh, in uh, sri lanka no matter what we go through the hotels are full <laughs> and the people love to go out and it's a fun loving nation we all have to agree for that they will still go out no matter what and spend time and share no uh, share the happiness with the friends and families so which is the positive note all these challenging times uh, sri lankan residents are help us to run this business so hats off for the residents and thank you so much for that support for entire hotel industry in colombo i'm i'm talking specifically in colombo where my sp i spent 10 months and understanding the business and uh, yes, so they still, still come on the weekend, good food, good service, and attention to the details and uh, tailor made. Uh, you know, most of the people uh, guess they need recognition. So that recognition is there. They will always will be in your door doorstep. Right. And uh, what are some of the future plans of Cinnamon Lakeside? Uh, we were looking at uh, uh, renovating a couple of floors and enhancing all the outlets plus looking at the entertainment program because uh, Cinema Lakeside is quite famous when it comes to musical shows in Colombo, uh, looking at a uh, couple of uh, musical programs, plus the uh, looking at the mice, 
uh, from India, a lot of groups are we are looking at so to cater for that mice and destination wedding that is something in Colombo we can do it as a uh, city ho hotel resort. So, that is what we are looking at. Right and with the fast uh, pacing world, what are some of the new trends that hotels are following? The new trends in hotels are following, I think the we have to look into long term business, uh, corporate business and the mice events. So, mice will give you the rooms, conference and events. So, that will cover a huge segment rather than only looking at room nights. So, that is what the uh, rest of the world is. City hotels can only way of surviving is that segment. So, that is what we are looking at and of course, uh, once the tourist uh, floodgates uh, will open, then that will also we will have some guests will stay with us. But uh, our main business is uh, we are focusing on mice and destination weddings. Right. Now, we have a lot of uh, young viewers who are entering the corporate world and if one how they can actually enter this uh, hotel industry and make it big. Step by step, just uh, describe how how they can follow a certain process to get there. Uh, I think it's it's a time and we have a very good hotel schools here and you really have to go through that uh, theoretical part of that and spend time in hotel school understanding what is the hotel industry and not only that you have to understand where is your love and passion. Right? We are as a hotel school or we as a hotels uh, we can give you knowledge and the experience, but if you don't have that love and fashion, you will not going to go a long way. And uh, number of hours you are putting through for this business, so young, young generation has to spend and you have to understand and talk to yourself, is this the right field for me? Once you know that, the sky is the limit on this business. So, you have all the different segment I ask, inform you, can be FMB operations, can be uh, culinary kitchen. Uh, can be front office, can be maintenance, can be sales and marketing. There's a lot of areas they can focus on and grow and move forward with their career. Right. And when it comes to being a general manager of a hotel versus a, another sort of sector or company, how does it uh, compare? Uh, this is a fantastic job. I love it. That's what I'm here. Uh, we have no problem with that. We get all the benefits what we need. Right. If you name it. Uh, food, beverage, accommodation, entertainment, uh, guest interaction, you name it, we get everything. So, that is a fantastic industry to come and you come to know every day, to come to know every day new people, uh, new experience you are facing, every day new learning, right? Each customer is different. So, every day is a new learning, new challenges. So, you work continuously to understand the challenges and opportunities. So, that is the beauty of this business. Right. Now, when it comes to this uh, enormous job role and all these responsibilities, how do you handle this stress? Uh, there is no stress. As I told you, this, if you love what you are doing, if you have a passion for that, you have a team of people, you trust your team and you guided them and you train them well, uh, there is no stress at all. Right. Yeah, as long as you enjoy every moment of that. Okay, great. And uh, well, finally, what would be your advice to young hoteliers entering this industry? This is a great business opportunity. This is a great getaway out from the country. Get, uh, this is a great way of achieving your goals. If you like to travel, if you want to experience different part of the world, uh, this is the fastest uh, opportunity you can get any other country. If you want to apply, if you're a chef, if you're FMB operations, if you're in a maintenance, if you're in sales and marketing, if you're in the front office, most of the countries are waiting for invite you. Right. So it's a great industry to uh, start with your career. Okay. And what would be your message to the viewers? How can they help uh, improve the hospitality industry? Uh, look at the uh, the way the uh, world hospitality operating and the uh, offerings. What we're going to look at uh, the eating habit, the presentation wise, uh, the concepts are changing around the world eating habit, the restaurant concept. So, I think the Sri Lanka, there's a lot of new concepts are coming, free, uh, freelancers are coming and we as hotels also looking at uh, fine tuning our concept, right. So, uh, I think hospitality is every day something that is new, mm -hmm. right. That's what we want to do. I know last three years uh, as a country we were a little bit of slowdown, but I think moving forward everything is going to be on track. So, you will have a lot of changes in the business. Right. And speaking of uh, that time when uh, the hospitality industry was at its lowest. Do you think we are picking back up to where we were before? Uh, indeed, yes. Uh, we can see the occupancy is going up and we see a lot of our neighbors, uh, massive uh, capturation is the, from Indian market are coming up, uh, mice are coming up, tourists are coming up, plus the China market is open. So, these are two massive markets for us, China and India. Mm -hmm. So, 
so that is coming up so that's uh, good news for us to see the progress of the country right well thank you so much for the insightful information and knowledge that was uh, Darsh Gallagher the general manager of Cinnamon Lakeside Hotel Colombo thank, thank you, you so much for inviting me appreciate it. have a great day thank, thank you thank for you. being with us and that winds up today's episode of business today do join us next time as well till then have a good night one word